closer to you guys arriving on campus. And again, I want to say, and I know I say this every time, but we are so excited to have you guys back with us. We have been working hard all summer to get the plans together to make sure that you have a safe arrival and a safe stay at Brevard College for the fall semester. So there's a few things that I want to go over with you so you make sure you have that information and give you some information about where to go if you need more detailed information about housing or arrival, classes, any of those things that you may have questions about. So let's talk first about your arrival. You should each have a day and a time that you're going to arrive on campus to check in and move into your residence hall. So those dates for new students will begin on August 10th and the 11th. If you have a conflict with those days and time, you need to email housing at brevard.edu and ask for an alternate time and day. The alternate day would be on a Sunday, the 9th. So that's to accommodate people that maybe can't get off work and, and have extra travel time. So be sure to do that. But check your My Brevard and you will have the information that you need for housing, where you're living, the day and time for checking in, and your roommate information for all new students. Returners, welcome back. It'll be soon. So you also will find all your information for moving in on my regard. You will find the day and the time, also your roommate information, and the building and room that you're going to be living in. And remember, this is all new to us this year with cohort housing. So you're going to be living with your teammates or the group that you're going to spend most of your time with. So any questions with that, again, email housing at regard.edu. So once you've moved in and you check in to the residence hall, new students, we're going to do Creek Week. You're going to hear more about Creek Week next week in the video from Alessandro Cavalloni, which is Lay, who plans all those activities. And we want to make sure that we help you transition from our college to the new students. So all those things will be in Creek Week, and you will also be able to see those on BC Radar. So what will happen when you come on campus? When you come on campus, you will be greeted by someone in, from Brevard College and you're going to do a symptoms checker from uh, BC Radar. As long as you get a green card, you are free to go. If you don't get a green card, you will have a couple of options. We will contact Blue Ridge Health and have you tested for COVID and you will not be able to move into your normal room until that test comes back negative or Blue Ridge clears. Once you are cleared, if you get a red card, then you will move into your residence hall and visit the usual. So now let's talk about dining services. What's changed in dining services? Dining services will be the same, except with limited seating. So we will only allow 100 people at one time in the dining hall for meals. This means that may, you may have to plan your, your meals a little bit better. But if you feel uncomfortable eating in there, we also have online dining that you're welcome to pick that up from the dining hall or you can do grab and go which means you can come in get what you want and then leave with it so we have a lot of different options for you in dining services late night dining will also be in the dining hall not in cold train anymore and that will be from 8 to 11 very similar menu except it will be in the dining hall Bill's floral house will also be open so all the things that you're used to in dining services will still be around it'll just be a little different configuration that you'll have to get you also received information this week from Dr. Scott Sheffield about classes. We know there's been some anxiety about, am I going to have to take online? Am I going to be in person? So as we've said before, you came to Brevard College because we're experiential. Experiential requires that connection and that relationship with a faculty member, and we feel you can only get that by being in a class with a professor. So 90 plus percent of our classes will be face-to-face. -face. You will have a few options for online, and you can always check those to see. If you want to take a class online, you can check to see if that option is available. Those of you that are not comfortable with online, and you may have an online class in your schedule, contact your advisor and see if you can get the face-to-face -face class, because there's going to be options either way for most of those classes. I know I've covered a lot of information this morning in this video, but there's information that I know you're looking for other information that you need or more details that you need, please go to mybrevard.edu. All the information you need, the protocols, the things that you'll need to check in, the things you'll need to get started, everything is on mybrevard.edu. 
If you have other questions, pick up the phone and call us. We are here to answer your questions and to get you ready to start a new academic year in August. Thank you and we'll see you soon.